Hi, my name is Kiana Watson, owner of Watson Realty Co. And I have been in the business since, wow, 2007. So I'm really excited about talking about my launch. I am originally born and raised from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I didn't quite have an entrepreneurship spirit. When I was growing up, we had very humble beginnings. I am the second oldest of six kids. So with that being said, I just knew I wanted to work. <laughs> I wanted to make money. I wanted to make my own money. So as soon, I think before I was even 16, as soon as I can get a work permit, I found, uh, I found a job. I was working at Sonic. And the only reason I wanted to work at Sonic, and maybe this is a little bit of an entrepreneur spirit because you got tips for roller skating and like delivering the food. So I would get paid my hourly wage and I would be the only person, there's only like two of us that could actually roller skate well enough to deliver the hot dogs. You know, like Sonic, you sit outside. So that was kind of how it started for me, being able to know if I, if I hustle hard enough, I'm nice enough, I would literally make more from tips than I would actually make from my shift. I want to say about a month ago on my Facebook, a girlfriend of mine, so I told you I always worked. So I was working at Walmart at the time. So as soon as I got out of high school, <laughs> I started working at Walmart. And she wrote on a post and it made me remember because I think I'm moving so quick in my life. She said, I remember you telling me that you were going to move to Atlanta and you was going to sell real estate and you was going to be successful. And I can tell you, I got that idea from, I used to watch Girlfriends, and that was the only show that was on TV at the time that really showed us for us. And I looked up to Tony Childs, and I was like, I'm going, I'm going to sell real estate. This girl bought her a Birkin bag, and she is driving the Range Rover. I'm selling real estate. I already knew I was going to do it. I just didn't know how. <laughs> I had a couple of steps. So the first step, I was immediately going to go into the military. So I went to take, I was in a military town. So keep in mind, Fayetteville, North Carolina has the largest Fort Bragg Army base in America. So it's Fort Bragg, Air, Fort Bragg Air Force Base, in the Air Force Base. So I was like, a lot of my friends was going into the military. They was like, you can get benefits, you can get paid. So I actually was working and um, a person I was dating at the time, he was in the military. So I went, took the ASVAB test, took the testing. I was going to go off into the military. So they give you like three months. They give you your, tell you your salary, tell you your position. You got like three months before you're like shipped off. So over the summer, I started to think about it. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this, you know? So then I switched gears and I said, I'm gonna go to hair school because I always did hair. So went to hair school and hair school was going well. I was still doing hair, but then I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about doing hair to get paid and that's how I got to do it. So then I shifted gears again and then I went to college. <laughs> So I actually started, and this all happened literally within like a year of high school. So it was from military to hair school to starting that next semester in college. I just always felt like I could do what I want. And a part of that has a lot to do with, I just knew I had no ceiling. You know, I had nothing to lose. I came from such humble beginnings that I just felt like if I don't like something, I'm just gonna keep pushing and keep moving forward until it's a position or I feel good about where I'm at. So I just didn't mind moving forward. So I got my degree from college, and at the time I was in a relationship with someone that was pretty much just kind of taking care of me. So I was just floating around with a degree and just enjoying my life, just being 100% honest. And something was in me said it was time to do more, be better, be more ambitious. And I just came up with this idea that I was going to leave the relationship I was in and move to Atlanta. And um, I, I literally, this is how bad I wanted to come. I drove to Atlanta early in the morning one day, went to an apartment complex, filled out the application. The application was approved. Drove all the way back to North Carolina. So six hour ride here, six hour ride back. Went back to North Carolina like nothing happened. And I'm like, all right, I know I was moving in 30 days. I know I was leaving the relationship I was in. And Atlanta was going to be a time for me to really shine and stand out. So my dad and my brothers, we all packed my stuff 30 days later and they helped me move to Atlanta. I came by myself. I didn't even have a job when I came. I had savings and I had an apartment. That's all I had. And that is when I grew up. That's when it really hit me that I am ready to jump and leap and just reach my full potential. So when, as I was driving to Atlanta, the only person that knew I was coming to Atlanta was my best friend. My boyfriend at the time, it wasn't a terrible relationship. I just outgrew it and I was kind of leaving him. So he just thought I was hanging out for the day. So everything that was going through my mind was, I am about to embark on a new journey. Like I'm no longer going to be that person that, that's just pretty. 
because sometimes that's what happens. And that's just being transparent. You're just pretty and you let someone take care of you. You let them take care of you, pay your bills. And you're not really empowering yourself. You're not using your own brain. You have this degree, you're smart. Why are you just allowing yourself to be in this place? So that was what was going through my mind as I was driving here. My mind was just really thinking about all of, like flashing back to all of the great things I saw in Atlanta over the times I was visiting. I said to myself, I'm gonna do great things in the city. I know it, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I knew I was gonna do great things. 